Hello friends, today we will see the short trick for frequency division by mod and counter. So basically in exam, you get some questions like to find the frequency at the output of a counter for a certain input clock frequency. And the counter can be anything like the counter can be the encounter. It can be Johnson counter. It can be uh, like n bit counter, like they can give 4 bit counter, 5 bit counter, or else they will give directly mod n counter. So, this video is to solve that type of sums. So, before starting the trick, the trick is very easy. So, for that, you should have some concept related to this counter. Let us first uh, get a quick review on certain type of counter. So first counter is ring counter. Basically this counter is a 4 bit ring counter. Uh, to just whether the counter is a ring counter you can see that the output of a last flip flop is given as an input of the first flip flop. And you can see the overriding input is given to the preset of first flip flop and it is given to the clear of remaining flip flop. So okay, let us uh, draw the truth table for this ring counter. Override. And we will consider flop. And we will consider output of all flip flop. So since the override should be uh, should be zero, should be low to activate this preset and clear. So. Initially, when the override input is 0, clock can be anything. The output of first flip flop will be 1 since the overriding input is given to the preset of this flip flop, and the remaining output will be 0 since the overriding input is given to the clear of all this flip flop. Now, when, the, uh, when this overriding input is 1, and the clock is negative as so here you can see that output of last flip flop is given as an input to the first flip flop so output of last flip flop is zero okay so uh, as uh, as the clock arrives this input zero will be driven to the input of this flip flop that is zero so output of this flip flop will also become zero and this q0 will be shifted to here and all this output will be shifted as the next clock arrives Again, the output of last flip flop is given as an input to the first flip flop. So, 0 is given as an input to the first flip flop. So, output of first flip flop will become 0. And then this input is given to the next flip flop. Again, this will become 0. This 1 is given to this uh, flip flop. So, it will become 1. And this 0 is given to this uh, last flip flop. Okay, so it will become 0. And uh, on the next clock, again, this 0 will come at the input of first flip flop. So we will get 0 here, output of first flip flop is given to the uh, second flip flop, so it will become 0, then again 0, then again 1, ok. Now for the next clock, this output of last flip flop is again given to, as an input to the uh, first flip flop, so this 1 will come here and again this 0 will come here, 0, 0. So you can see the, this this state and this state is same so we will stop here so you can see uh, in the ring counter we get in this four bit ring counter we get four different states so basically you can say this four bit ring counter as four bit ring counter as modulo four counter so what you can conclude is mod for n bit ring counter the mod number will be mod n so if the uh, ring counter is 5 bit the modulo the counter will be mod 5 counter if the ring counter is 10 bit the uh, counter will be mod 10 counter okay now we will see the second counter uh, which is johnson counter so basically basic difference between this uh, ring counter and Johnson counter is that in ring counter the output of the last flip flop is uh, uh, directly given to the first flip flop but here in Johnson the complement of the last flip flop uh, is given as an input to the first flip flop. So because of th this the state is increased you can see here this is overriding input 
so we will draw the truth table for this override log and q0 q1 q2 q3 okay so when the overriding input is 0 clock is clock can be anything since this overriding input is given to all flip flops so all flip flop will get clear okay so the output will become 0 0 0 0 okay now as soon as this overriding input become 1 negative edge of clock arrives this since the last flip flop output is complemented and then given as an input to the first flip flop so since the output of last flip flop is 0 so complement of 0 will be 1 and this is given as an input to the first flip flop so it will become 1 and this will be shifter so it will become 0 0 0 like this okay now for the next clock with overriding input 1 this again complement of uh, last flip flop is given as an input to the first uh, first flip flop okay so again zero complement is one so uh, output of first flip flop will become one then all this in, uh, all this input will get shifted at the output of the another flip flop so it will be one zero zero okay now for the next clock again the output uh, output of last flip flop is complemented and then given as an input to the first flip flop so it will become 1 1 1 0 and same for the next clock will be 1 1 1 1 now the uh, complement of this output will become 0 so 0 is given as an input to the first flip flop so uh, the output of first flip flop will, will become 0 1 1 1 again complement of 1 is given as an input to the first flip flop so it will become 0, 0, 1, 1. Again, complement of 1 is given as an input. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now we will stop as this state becomes similar. Okay, so now we will count this number of states, different states. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So basically, the 4 bit Johnson counter is able to count 8 number of state. Number of states. So basically, we can say this 4 bit Johnson counter is a mod 8 counter, right? So in general form, n bit Johnson counter will be mod 2n counter. Okay. The ring counter was mod n counter. And the Johnson counter is mod 2n counter. Okay, now the third type can be uh, given as 4 bit counter, it can be asynchronous or synchronous. It doesn't matter because the number of state counted by this counter will be same. So for example, if the counter is 4 bit counter, that means it can count 2 raised to 4 number of states. So the for the 4 bit counter the number of states will be 16 states that can be counted by this type of counter so in general form for n bit counter the counter will be able to count 2 raised to n number of states okay so it will be mod 2 raised to n counter okay now we get to know how to get the mod of certain counter okay so uh, now we will see how to get the output frequency of a certain counter when the certain input frequency is given to that counter. So if suppose the input frequency is fin, the counter is mod n counter and the output frequency is fo. So the formula for this is fo is equals to fin by mod number okay so mod number is basically this n of this counter okay this is not the number of flip flop now we will see the sum uh, in which we can apply all this trick so here the input frequency is given as 320 kilohertz and we need to find the frequency at this this x4 stage okay so first at x1 since the counter here is 10 bit ring counter it means if n here is 10 so this counter will be mod 10 counter okay so the frequency at x1 will be f in by 10 so it means 320k by 10 so it is 32 kilohertz okay now at x2 stage 
since the counter is 4 bit counter so it can count 2 raised to 4 state so it will be mod 16 counter ok so f at x2 will be f in so here this fx1 will be there and upon 16 ok so fx1 is 32 kilohertz divided by 16 so it will be 2 kilohertz ok now at x3 stage since the counter is mod 25 counter it means it can count 25 states ok so it is mod 25 counter so f x3 will be f of x2 divided by 25 ok so 2 kilohertz upon 25 so basically we can write this as 2000 divided by 25 so 25 1 25 8 so it will be 80 hertz ok now we get the x3 stage output frequency now for x4 stage since the counter is johnson counter and it is 4 bit counter so it can count 8 number of states so it is mod 8 counter ok so we can say f of x4 will be f of x3 divide by 8 so basically this 80 hertz divide by 8 equals to 10 hertz so the, this frequency at this x4 stage will be 10 hertz ok friends so if you like this video and if you find this video helpful then please do like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you